I'm gonna show you a golf invention that will instantly lower your scores. Now I speak to so many golfers every single week, both in person and online, and they get to a point in their golfing career and go, I can't get any better. I'm really not enjoying it. How do I hit it further? How do I strike my irons better? Well, I have got this invention that works for irons and it works for driver too. Now, this channel is all about you playing your best golf. We have simple golf tips five times a week. And today we're answering Matt's question, the difference between irons and driver. And this invention just fits perfectly. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn the bell to never miss a video. So I call this invention the power bridge. And there are two variations because we need to understand there are different intentions. When we have a driver in our hand, we're looking to hit up on the golf ball, have our angle of attack on the up, and when we've got an iron in our hand, we're looking to hit down on the golf ball, have our angle of attack on the ground. Okay, so let's get this set up for driver first. So let's set up the power bridge. This is all I've done. Now I place this alignment stick in the ground, but you could just pop this into a basket. I'm roughly looking for a little bit more of than one, two, three club heads height here, okay? Now the thing you've got to understand it's nice and simple. With a driver, we want to go under the bridge before we hit the ball, because that's forcing us to be low first. Okay, so just finally, the setup tips of how I set this up is nice and simple. Three club heads in height, and from the player cam perspective, we've got the bridge set one club head behind the golf ball, okay? One club head behind. So you can really see here, again, from the player cam perspective, I'm having to swing under and then up. If I make a downwards hit, I'm just gonna catch that head cover slightly. And I've just placed that head cover on there just to offer a bit of protection to the shaft and a bit of protection uh, to, you, to your alignment stick so you don't catch it and, and cause any damage. So really nice and simple. There's no other objective really than swing under the power bridge and come up. Easy as that. One club head behind. This is exactly how you hit the driver. Now look at the launch on this. You do not want that back. You start hitting up on driver without even thinking. I couldn't stop staring at that. That was, uh, well, an absolute pleasure to hit. So nice and simple. You've got the intention now of going under the bridge before hitting the golf ball with driver. Now let's talk irons. This works for every single one of your irons and this drill is slightly different now, but we're using the power bridge in a different way. So. I want you to firstly, this is how you're gonna set it up, but there's a little bit of a routine because I feel that this is a lot harder, so really do pay attention to this, is a lot harder for golfers to get right. So nice and simple, you've got the power bridge. You can leave it in the exact same position. So if you're practicing and you've got a bit of a range routine going on, you set your power bridge up and it works for all of them. That's why I know this invention really does help you play. So how are you gonna set this up? I've got seven iron in my hand, so I've got my appropriate seven iron ball position. Have a look at that there. Again, player cam perspective, you can just copy that. And I've got the bridge, one, two club heads in front. Now I'm just gonna move that ball out the way. And I wanna firstly just make a few practice swings because it's gonna feel like this club really is exaggerated lower for longer. But that's what all good golfers get. All good golfers have the club traveling down and low and a foot after impact, the club head is as far away from as you as possible. People who sort of skip the ball or pick the ball off the top and maybe never, ever, ever take a divot, get the club as high as they can, one foot after, okay? So that would be like sort of scoopy like this. And that would be sort of hitting the head cover. It's exactly what we don't want to see. So again, I've got seven iron in my hand. I've placed this in there. Take a few practice swings, encouraging yourself to get under this. Really look, you'll force yourself, and maybe this is something you'd be aware of, and maybe you are transferring your weight a little bit more to help you. If you're hanging back, it's gonna be very, very hard to get this right. So the key areas I'd look for when you're having those practice swings is that you're getting enough rotation through. That is gonna help you get under that power bridge and achieve that. Have a look at this in the face on perspective. We'll put this in slow-mo because you're gonna to wanna to see how, how effective this is from taking your strike bottom groove, the third or fourth up, the pure zone, where you don't even feel it go up the shaft. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Don't forget to subscribe 
and turn the bell to never miss any of our free simple golf tips tutorial.